Welcome back, everyone. We're diving into something pretty interesting today. Uh, Broadcom's role in the AI boom. Yeah. You know, we hear about NVIDIA and all the AI chips, but we're going to look deeper at the infrastructure side of AI, and we'll be using Broadcom's own company overview to guide us. Absolutely, and it's an area that's um, essential to understand uh, if you really want to grasp uh, what's happening in this whole AI revolution. Right. Everyone talks about the chips, but what about the networks connecting those chips, the storage that feeds the data, and the software that makes everything work together? That's where Broadcom comes in. Yeah. What's fascinating is Broadcom's stock, uh, it's been going crazy recently, and there's a ton of speculation about just how big their role in AI is going to be. So today, we're going to try to figure that out. Are they really as crucial as some people are saying? Okay, let's get into it. The company overview breaks things down into two main segments for Broadcom, semiconductor solutions and infrastructure software. Can you give us a quick rundown of what each of those um, covers? Sure. Semiconductor solutions is where you'll find their chips. And not just for AI, but for a whole bunch of things. Networking, data centers, uh, broadband, wireless communication. These chips are everywhere. I mean, from the smartphones in our pockets to the huge servers in the cloud. So they're not just focused on AI chips, but they're a big player in the semiconductor world. Exactly. And then there's infrastructure software, which is all about providing the software backbone for businesses and those big data centers we talked about. Mm -hmm. Think cybersecurity, mainframe computing, and you know all the IT stuff that keeps companies running. Mm -hmm. Broadcom has made some pretty smart acquisitions in this area, picking up companies like CA Technologies and Symantec Enterprise. They've really beefed up their software offerings with those moves. Yeah, and of course we can't forget their huge acquisition of VMware a couple of years ago. I mean, that deal alone pushed their market cap way over a trillion dollars. It was a huge deal, no question. It really shows that Broadcom is serious about becoming a one-stop shop for data center and enterprise technology solutions. And with AI exploding like it is, it seems like that bet is paying off. Their overview says their AI-related revenue tripled in 2024, hitting over $12 billion. Wow. And they're projecting that number to just skyrocket to $90 billion by 2027. Yeah, those are some crazy numbers. And it shows how much potential Broadcom sees in the AI market. Even Hoktan, their CEO, has said publicly that it's a massive opportunity for them. So they're seeing massive growth from AI. Hmm. But let's go a little deeper into how they're actually involved. They're not making the GPUs, so where do they fit in? That's where it gets interesting. You see, Broadcom is providing the backbone for AI data centers. Mm. While companies like NVIDIA are getting all the attention for their GPUs, it's Broadcom's technology that connects and accelerates everything behind the scenes. Oh, I see. So they're like the unsung heroes, making sure all those GPUs can actually talk to each other, work together. Exactly. Their products are key for making sure that AI data centers can handle all the data that's involved in training and running AI models. So what are some of the specific things Broadcom offers that are designed for this kind of high-performance AI? One of the big ones is high-speed networking. Okay. Their Tomahawk Ethernet switches are super important for managing all the data that needs to move between GPUs when you're training AI. These switches are the backbone of those massive cloud providers like Google and Amazon, the companies that are really pushing the boundaries of AI. It makes sense that networking would be so important, especially with the ridiculous amount of data needed to train these complex AI models. Right. And Broadcom makes sure all those GPUs can communicate with each other without any hiccups, allowing them to work together really effectively. And they do more than just networking, right? I mean, they're involved in the AI acceleration itself. Absolutely. Yeah. NVIDIA might rule the GPU world, but Broadcom is developing something called custom AI accelerators, also known as ASICs. Okay. These are tailored for specific AI tasks. And hyperscalers like Google, they use these in their TPUs or tensor processing units to train their models. So are they kind of competing with NVIDIA, but from a different angle? I guess you could say that. It's not a direct competition in the general purpose GPU market, but they're definitely a big player in the AI acceleration scene. This is all fascinating. But before we move on to what they do in AI inference, can you quickly explain what that is? Some people listening might not know. Yeah, of course. Think of training AI as teaching it to recognize patterns and make predictions. Inference is about actually using those trained models in the real world. Perfect. So when we talk about Broadcom and AI inference, we're talking about how they make those models run smoothly and efficiently, especially at a massive scale. You got it. Think of their technology as the infrastructure that allows AI to get where it needs to go quickly and reliably. Okay. 
This is really interesting. So how about we explore how Broadcom's products are actually used in AI inference? Let's do that. It's an area where they're making a big impact. Great. Then we'll dive into that right after this. All right. So we're talking about AI inference, how Broadcom helps make it all happen. And you were saying it's all about making those models run without a hitch, especially mm. when you're doing it on a massive scale. Exactly. Just like we talked about with AI training, high-speed networking is really important for inference, too. So those Tomahawk Ethernet switches we talked about earlier. Yeah, they're crucial here, too. They make sure that GPUs and those other specialized AI chips can talk to each other without any problems, especially for complex stuff like natural language processing or um, image recognition. It's crazy to think something like a network switch can have such a huge impact on how well AI actually works. You know, it's true. The stuff that works behind the scenes often makes the biggest difference. And uh, Broadcom's role goes beyond networking, too. They've got this technology called um, Compute Express Link, or CXL. Okay, CXL. I've heard that name thrown around, but i got to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Can you break it down for us? And tell us why it's so important for AI inference. Sure. CXL is uh, it's a new standard for connecting all the different parts inside a computer system. Basically, it creates a direct connection between that AI chip and the CPU's memory. That eliminates the bottlenecks that usually slow down inference. So instead of the AI chip having to constantly ask the CPU for data, it can just grab it directly. That sounds like a huge speed boost. Exactly. And that speed is super important for uh, applications that need to react instantly, like self-driving cars. You know, they need to make split second decisions or chatbots that need to give you instant responses. CXL makes that kind of super fast AI possible. And Broadcom is a leader in CXL. Oh, yeah. They're investing heavily in CXL, which gives them a really good position in that AI inference market. Makes sense. So we've got the networking side with those Tomahawk switches, and now we've covered memory access with CXL. What other pieces does Broadcom bring to the AI inference puzzle? Well, there's storage and data processing, too. You see, AI inference often deals with a ton of data, pre-trained models, and real-time input. And that all needs really fast access to storage systems. Right, because even if you have the fastest processors and the best memory sharing, it's all useless if you can't get the data to those processors fast enough. Exactly. And that's where Broadcom's RAID controllers and fiber channel storage solutions come in. They optimize how that data gets moved around so everything loads super quick and smooth. For example, autonomous driving AI, it needs to process real-time images and video constantly. Yeah. Broadcom storage solutions uh, help make sure that data is ready to go when it's needed for those split-second decisions that are so important for safety. That's a great example. It seems like Broadcom's role in inference is all about removing those bottlenecks, whether it's networking, memory, or storage. They're creating this uh, smooth, super-fast highway for AI to do its thing. That's it. It's like they're the architects of these AI data centers, making sure everything is in sync for the best possible performance. Okay, so if I'm looking to invest in the whole AI boom, is Broadcom a must-have? Well, that's a good question. It really depends on your investment strategy. If you're looking specifically at companies making those AI models and algorithms, Broadcom might not be the most obvious choice. However, or if you're looking for a company that's going to benefit from the massive infrastructure build out that AI needs, then Broadcom is in a great spot. Exactly. They're providing the essential tools that make all of this AI stuff possible. They're like the picks and shovels during a gold rush. That's a smart way to look at it especially considering how much AI is expected to grow in the next few years. So it's clear Broadcom isn't just riding the wave, they're actually helping create it. Absolutely. They're projecting that their AI revenue could hit $90 billion by 2027, you know? Wow. That's huge compared to where they are now, and it shows how confident they are in their role in the AI world. It's clear they're a major player in this whole AI revolution. So how about we switch gears a bit and talk about the competition? Who are they up against in this space? And what are their strengths? Okay, so let's talk competition. Who is Broadcom up against? And what are their strengths? Well, this is where it gets really interesting. Broadcom may not be as well known as some of the other big names in AI, like NVIDIA, but they completely dominate certain areas. Give us the details. Who are the main rivals and what gives Broadcom the edge? So in AI networking, their biggest competitor is actually NVIDIA, but not how you might think. You see, NVIDIA bought Mellanox a while back, which brought them into the high-speed networking game with their InfiniBand technology. InfiniBand, right. That's that super fast alternative to the usual Ethernet stuff. Yeah, that's it. But even with InfiniBand, NVIDIA still has a tough time against Broadcom. 
especially when you're talking about those giant hyperscale data centers that are running a lot of the AI world. So why can Broadcom hold their own against a giant like NVIDIA in this space? Well, for one, Ethernet, which is Broadcom's specialty, is way more common in data centers than InfiniBand. Hyperscalers like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, they usually prefer Ethernet because it works better across their massive AI clusters. So Broadcom is winning because they're already the leader in the industry standard. Yeah, that's a big part of it. And it's not just NVIDIA they got to worry about. Companies like um, Arista Networks and Cisco, they're major players in AI networking too. Yeah, those are big names in networking. How does Broadcom stack up against them? Well, Arista is definitely coming up fast, but they don't have those deep relationships with the hyperscalers or the advanced chip tech that Broadcom has. And Cisco, they're a giant in enterprise networking, but they're still trying to catch up when it comes to the specialized infrastructure needed for those AI data centers. Sounds like Broadcom's got a pretty good grip on the AI networking market. They do. And here's something interesting. Some of their competitors actually use Broadcom technology. You can even find Broadcom chips inside some Arista and Cisco switches. It really shows how deeply Broadcom is woven into the whole AI ecosystem. It's like they win even when their rivals are doing well. Kinda, yeah. Okay, but moving beyond just networking, we, we got to talk about CXL and those custom AI chips. In those areas, Broadcom's up against companies like Marvell and Intel. Right, CXL, that memory sharing tech we talked about earlier. Yep, exactly. Marvell is probably their closest competitor when it comes to CXL, but they just don't have the same scale or market presence. And Intel, they're moving into AI infrastructure with CXL, but they've been slow to release high performance solutions. Again, it seems like Broadcom's got a big advantage thanks to their early investments and their dominance in these key technologies. Yeah, and don't forget their enterprise software and security stuff, especially after that VMware acquisition. That puts them up against giants like Microsoft, Red Hat, and Oracle in the cloud-based AI space. Wow, they really are covering all the bases. It's almost like they're building their own little empire within the AI world. You could say that. I mean, they're not trying to be everything for everyone. They're focused on that fundamental infrastructure that all AI needs, no matter who's building the algorithms or the GPUs. So bottom line, is Broadcom really dominant in the AI landscape? Well, it's a bit complicated. There's no doubt they are the kings of AI networking and connectivity, Ethernet, PCIe and CXL, those are their crown jewels, essential for both training and running AI models. But when you're talking about the raw computing power behind AI, NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, they're still the main players. So Broadcom's playing a different game, but they're winning at it. Definitely. And that's something investors need to understand. Broadcom gives you a way to be part of the AI broom without having to bet on who's going to win the whole GPU battle. That's an interesting proposition, especially when you look at their strong financial performance and all that projected growth in AI revenue. Exactly. They've got these tight relationships with those hyperscale companies, Google, Microsoft, Amazon. That means they're in a perfect spot to benefit as AI infrastructure keeps growing. All right, that wraps up our deep dive today. We've learned a lot about Broadcom's behind the scenes role in the AI boom. They're not just riding the wave, they're actively shaping it. Yeah, it really makes you think about how Broadcom's influence on all that essential infrastructure could actually shape the future of AI. As those AI models get even more complex and even more data hungry, the companies that control the flow of data are gonna have a lot of power. That's a great point. It reminds us that innovation in AI isn't just about the fancy algorithms and chips. It's about the whole ecosystem that supports them. And Broadcom is a major player in that ecosystem. So next time you hear about some amazing new AI application, take a minute to think about the companies like Broadcom that are making it all happen. It's a complex world behind the scenes, but definitely worth exploring. Couldn't have said it better myself. Mm. Thanks for joining us on this fascinating deep dive. We'll catch you on the next one.